Hi everyone, my name is Dave. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my very first fragrance review, so welcome to my channel, Scent Memories, where I will be focusing on only niche perfumery. Uh, for those of you who don't know, niche perfumery uh, is or are houses or companies who are specifically focusing or focus on fragrances, luxury fragrances. Um, my favorite niche perfume house is Zerzhoff. For those of you who don't know, Zerzhoff is an Italian fragrance house uh, based out of uh, Italy, with their flagship being in Turin, Italy. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to uh, do a little bit of a different video on YouTube that I haven't really seen a lot of, focusing in on exclusives from the house of Zerzhoff. So exclusives are uh, fragrances that are exclusive to specific kinds of uh, either brands or um, different companies like Selfridges, Fordham & Mason, Harrods. Um, those are all exclusives which house some of the Zerzhoff exclusive collection. So I'm going to be starting off my list here and I'll be trying to go as fast as possible with my favorite Zerzhoff um, out of my entire collection which is none other than Symphonium. So what is Symphonium? Well, Symphonium is a gourmand. A gourmand is a fragrance that reminds you of kind of a food or makes you want to kind of eat yourself in a way. And I don't recommend you eating yourself, guys. And please don't eat your fragrances. You can't eat them. But it reminds you of food. Um, and it is something that is so, this fragrance is so delicately, so delicately blended and so well put together that um, you can pick up the notes, but it's also so well blended that it's all one beautiful composition. So what do I get with Symphonium? Well, first of all, let's look at this gorgeous bottle here. Talk about this beautiful stone in this absolutely gorgeous presentation. Um, this is this is orange. This is this is bright, juicy mandarin orange, um, and right away then you get that delicious uh, chocolate with a, a little bit of vanilla and oud, and not a skanky animalic oud, but an oud that's creamy and soft and luxurious. I don't personally like uh, very barnyardy skanky ouds. I like creamy and soft ouds, and with this one, you get a very, very delicate oud that gives the composition some legs to stand on, a very nice base to stand on, and it allows the fragrance to have more depth, so it gives it better longevity, um, it gives it better structure, and this thing is absolutely, I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic. It's, it's orange, it's chocolate, it's vanilla, it's musk, it, it's fantastic is what it is. So that is Zerzhoff Symphonium. Um, and what I forgot to mention, this is a Fort of a Mason exclusive, um, which Zerzhoff temporarily released. So it released it, I think they released this from the Zerzhoff Universe website a, th a few months ago, and it was snatched up pretty quickly. Um, so for those of you who have a bottle of Symphonium, uh, congratulations, because you all know how good this one is. Um, and if you, can, if you can get your nose on it, please do. I highly recommend it. It is absolutely fantastic. Next up is Zerzhoff Via Cavour 1. So Via Cavour 1 is um, a fragrance that Zerzhoff released several years ago that commemorates their flagship store in Turin, Italy. Uh, it is, uh, I think it's commemorating their first anniversary of their flagship store. Um, this one is a difficult one to find and when it usually is in stock on their website, um, for those of you who have access to it, it usually sells out pretty quickly. Um, so. If you have this available to you on the Zerja website, um, it's probably because you have a birthday promotion or you have uh, VIP access. So if you can get your nose on this one, guys, please do. This one is exceptional. This is quince. This is peach. This is bright, fruity notes in the opening. Um, and then right away, you get um, a little bit of that uh, chocolate and a little bit of a vanilla and some patchouli, uh, but with a touch of oud. And again, a creamy, sensual oud, not a barnyard. Or a skanky oud, it is absolutely, um, it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it is, it is, it is really that good. Um, it's, it's chocolatey, it's vanilla, it's patchouli, it's, it's oud. It's so damn good. Longevity on this, just like Symphonium. Um, I might have forgotten to mention the longevity. My apologies. It is excellent. I get about eight to ten hours, if not more. I get about three to four hours of projection which is really good and then it sits a little bit closer to the skin but you can still get that nice sillage and a nice scent bubble around you and really kind of you can have people around you and they will still smell it on you 
um, but it is no means by by no means is this a slouch this thing will last you all day uh, best times to wear these uh, these two fragrances symphonium and via Cavour one I would say probably colder weather um, fall and winter probably are best uh, maybe summer in this in the cooler summer evenings or in the cooler spring days I would say is a great time to wear symphonium and via Cavour one but I would be cautious about wearing these two in high summer heat next Oh man, next. Casa Marati Italica. I mean guys, let's, let's look at this bottle. Before we even get into the juice, let's talk about this bottle real quick. How, how gorgeous is this bottle? This red velvet, this blood red velvet with this absolutely gorgeous golden plaque here and this nice little fringe. What is Casa Marati Italica? Well, this was a temporary release from um, from Zerzhov. Um, I believe this is a uh, Harvey and Nichols exclusive or Harvey Nichols ex uh, exclusive. Um, this is or was released temporarily, I think a month ago on Zerzhov Uni Universe's website. Um, everyone's, you know, I think they, they sold out pretty quickly on this one. Uh, people went nuts for it and they, and they snatched up a lot of the bottles. Um, but in, in, in rightfully so because this one is that good. This is my absolute favorite gourmand. What is Italica? Well, Italica is, is milky notes. It's almond. It's toffee. When you spray it, and I don't want to spray too much because I don't want to use too much of my juice here, but when you spray it, and the sprayers for Zerjoff guys are, are fantastic. I mean, they're up there with, with Roja Dove and Fragrance Dubois and their sprayers. This is, you get this really nice creamy milky accord with almond. That's what I get in the very top notes. And then right away, you get this beautiful caramel, this beautiful vanilla um, with a little bit of this toffee note. And what I really reminds me of, if you've ever, if you've ever been to Italy um, or France and you've had these beautiful uh, Italian pastries, you go into an Italian uh, patisserie and you're sitting there and you're eating this beautiful almond toffee caramel pastry and it's kind of flaky. Um, and it's got the, you're tasting the milk and you're tasting the butter I mean, that's what this smells like. It smells so freaking good. And longevity on this one, guys, is fantastic. I get, I get eight to 10 hours, if not 12 hours, uh, especially in the colder weather. This one is not at all a slouch. This one lasts all day. Projection, I get three to four hours, and it creates a great sillage around me. So that is uh, Italica. Now, moving on. This one, I, I have a hard time describing. This one is one of my absolute favorites uh, in my Zerzhov collection, and one of my favorites in my entire collection period. This is Zerzhov's 1770 collection. This is Bagum or Bigum. If I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, my apologies. I mean, look at that beautiful stone in the center there. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. What is Bagum? Uh, Bagum is, I mean, this is a, this is a Harrods exclusive. First of all, it's, it was an exclusive release from Zerzhov. Uh, I think two weeks ago, they had it on the website. Um, I've had a sample of this for a long time and I've Kind of went back and forth on the sample. Um, at first, I didn't like Bagum. I didn't love Bagum that much. I kind of wrote it off. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. It's nothing special. But as I started smelling this one more and more, I mean, I, I, I absolutely just fell in love with this one. It is so fantastic. Um, it's, it's, it's that good. Um, Bagum sold out on Zerjoff Universe, I think within two hours. Uh, it really sold out quickly. What do I get with Bagum? Well, right away when I smell it, it's, uh, it's sharp. It's a sharp kind of a, a stringent opening. It's got this kind of metal steel accord um, that's really kind of sharp. And if you think of like steel, uh, like you're smelling cold steel next to you, and not the way like metal or steel like in Penhalog and Sartorial, kind of not that kind of uh, not that kind of steel, but just a sharp kind of metal. Uh, and then I get these beautiful florals, like the you know the uh, the freesia and the red berries, these juicy red berries, like like, like dripping juicy, you know, unctuous red berries. Uh, then I get the florals and they get the, you know, a lang a lang and I get the, the rose and I think there's jasmine in it. I also get um, a little bit of a, um, a little bit of oud. It's not so much oud, but it's more like um, a little bit of a, a kind of a creamy oud, but that could be just from the, you know, the, the vanilla and the musk, um, which, which as the base notes kind of start to settle down into the base notes of the fragrance, you get more of the vanilla, you get the musk, you get the amber. So it starts out kind of stringent and harsh and a little bit strong, uh, but let it dry down. 
because as it dries down, you get the most sensual, sophisticated, regal, creamy, ambery, musky vanilla fragrance. Uh, this thing projects beast mode. I mean, it really is a strong fragrance. It lasts at least 10 hours on my skin. Um, please be careful on the sprayer with this one, guys. This one is not a fragrance to be sprayed on heavily. It will be a little bit cloying for those people around you, so just be a little bit cautious on the sprayer, but it is absolutely fantastic. My next one is Zerjoff Join the Club 400. This is part of their Join the Club series. This is an exclusive to Selfridges. A lot of people don't really know 400 very well. Um, it is a lesser known fragrance in the Zerjoff collection, but this is an exclusive to, again, Selfridges. Um, this is something that I kind of akin or liken it to uh, Zerjoff Naxos. If Zerjoff Naxos had a sister, 400 would be it. This is kind of what I say is uh, Zerjoff is spunky, kind of feisty sister. Um, it has a, a similarity to uh, Naxos, but it is not a clone, not identical in any way. Uh, it's got it's got the similar scent profile to it. So it's got honey, it's got tobacco, um, it's got kind of a boozy accord to it. But I get much more floral and I get much more um, honey in this one than I do with Naxos. Uh, this one starts out with a little bit of a bright opening, a little bit of those bright citruses, but then I get right away, I get that, that honey and I get that bitter, um, kind of that bitter honey with the rose and the florals. Uh, and then I start getting, right away I get that tobacco, that kind of that, that dry tobacco with that bitter and kind of uh, uh, astringent, but uh, also very sweet at the same time, honey. And then I get, throughout the life of the fragrance, I get floral. So I get, I get all the florals. They don't really leave. They kind of stay with you throughout the life of the fragrance. Um, I also get a lot of honey. I get some tobacco, but it's, again, not as much tobacco as in Naxos, which I really love. And I love the tobacco scent profile within Naxos. Uh, but this is, this is definitely worthy of a full bottle. I mean, this is florally, this is, this is flowery, this is, this is citrusy, this is honey, this is tobacco. I mean, this is fantastic. And um, this is a beast, complete, this is one of the strongest fragrances in my entire collection, period. This will last me 16 to 18 hours. I mean, this lasts me all, all freaking day. And, and the scent bubble that it leaves around me is absolutely fantastic. My girlfriend loves this one. She's not a huge fan of florals or a huge fan of um, honey, but when she smells this on me, she loves it. So that is Join the Club Zerjoff 400. Last but not least, I'm gonna talk about one of the most underrated fragrances in the Zerjoff collection, but one of my favorites. This is Abrus or Abru. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, so if I'm saying this improperly, my apologies. This is a Fortum & Mason exclusive. Um, Abrus is a Fougier. A Fougier is a fragrance genre or classification of fragrances that typically lean uh, or hint at classic gentlemanly fragrances from the 70s and the 80s. Um, Fougiers, when people, people think Fougiers, they think of uh, fragrances that their dad or their uncle or their grandpa wore. They're typically more classic and more, more sophisticated, more gentlemanly. Um, when I smell this fragrance, what do I get with a Bruce? Um, I get green notes, so I get this lush green, kind of like a, almost a green pasture um, with this bright bergamot and this lemon that is so juicy. I'm almost envisioning like, you know, just this juicy, bright lemon kind of dripping from the fruit. And it's so vivacious and it's so bright. Um, then I get the basil, I get the elemi, uh, I get the patchouli, um, and I also get a little bit of some florals. But I also get the incense, which is a strong supportive player, but in by no means does the incense in this fragrance overtake or overpower the composition. It acts as a supportive player, as a background note. It gives the, ba uh, the fragrance some base, some structure, um, some something to stand on, and it gives it that ability to have a more rounded uh, structure to it so it can last longer. And it really works well with the bergamot and the basil and the LME and the patchouli. Uh, it really is a very sexy incense. Um, this lasts for me about six to eight hours. Um, not as strong as some of the other exclusives in the Zerjoff collection, but it definitely lasts uh, a pretty good amount of time. 
This is one of my favorite Fougieres in my Fougier collection. Um, it is an absolute gorgeous uh, fragrance. I mean, the bottle itself is like most Shooting Stars uh, collections in the Shooting Stars line of Zerzhov. It has that simple plaque with the X on it. Um, in the back here, you can see it's got Fordham and Mason on the back here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then it has the typical Zerzhov cap, which if you guys haven't felt the Zerzhov caps, these things are heavy. They're heavy, heavy metal. Um, so uh, again, one of my absolute favorites uh, of my collection. So that concludes my Zerzhov exclusive uh, video. Uh, thank you everyone so much for watching. If you haven't already, again, please hit the subscribe button so you'll be subscribed for any future videos and hit the bell icon so you can be notified for any more future content. Uh, thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, please comment down below uh, what you thought of my video and if you want to see anything next going forward. I uh, hope you all stay safe and be kind to each other. Thank you.